You are watching implementation of email sending in Next.js in five minutes. We are going to implement resend email for developers. If you create a free account there, you have up to 3000 emails a month and 100 emails a day, which should be enough for some small project. We have here our fresh copy of Next.js and we can get started. First thing we need to do is to create an account for resend. I have already done that, so I'm just going to log in. And when you are in, go to the API keys page and here create a new API key. I'm going to name my API key warrior and now I'm clicking add. Here we can see that we can see this key only once. So store it safely. That's a good suggestion. We can check it out with an eye icon and also copy it to clipboard with this button. So I'm going to create env file in my root directory and there I'm going to create resend API key variable. So that's a constant and that one is going to be globally available in our project. I pasted my key here and also don't forget to create environment.example because .env is being ignored by git and here we are just going to copy this one and leave it empty so we know what API key we need. Now we are quickly going to delete everything that we get by default from Next.js in our default page and in there we are going to create one form where we should have just one button type submit like this we're going to just write send and in our form we are going to call action send which we are going to create here so we need function send and in there we can just console log for now send email and here we are going to put use client because we are using the forms and now if we check our app we have our send button so now we have to actually send an email when we click this button. So for that, we are going to create a server function. I'm creating a new lib folder in root directory and in there I'm going to create resend.ts. Here we are typing use server to mark this as a server component. And now we need to add recent. So I'm typing pmpm add recent in my console and now that one should be installed. That's it. And now we need to import Resend with a big R from Resend. And we are going to create a constant Resend, which is going to create a new instance of Resend with the API key. So we named it Resend API key, like this. And now we are going to create the send email function and we are exporting it so we can call it from wherever we want. And now here, yes, this one also needs to be an async function. And here we are calling it like this. So await resend.emails.send. And inside we need our to, so that's to who we are sending this email. We have from, from who is it coming from. Then we have our subject. So that's the subject of our email and also we have HTML. That's the description of our email and how will it look. For from, we are going to use their official onboarding recent.dev email. That's for testing. And two, I'm just going to say, send it to my private email. I don't have any org dev email yet. Don't judge. And for subject, we are going to say Loctar and HTML, we are just going to send strong you are a dev warrior like this. And now we can just test it out here. So instead of console log, we are going to put here send email from our resend and I'm going to delete this console log. So now we can test it out. So we are going to our page and I'm clicking send. And now I should receive my email. I'm going to open it in the same moment I receive it. So here it is. You are a dev warrior, Loktar. Everything is working great. Nice. Implementation was successful. 
There is also one great trick that you need to know. Here you can, instead of HTML, put React. So here you can send some React component. For example, I have a welcome message component like this, and you don't need to write HTML inside the string. I hope I helped you out a little bit, warriors. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to OrgDev channel.